based upon our, our assets here, both the vehicles and our soldiers, drivers, we estimate that we can move up to 226 uh, people in one convoy, and then we could go back and continue that until we, we pretty much complete the mission. Now, on the air evac side, that's, that's going to be very dependent on where the risk is and what type of risk it is. Um, we have the Blackhawks that can move a small amount of people uh, and they can get into tighter places. And also the uh, active duty has rotary wing assets up at Poakalo that they're training, but we would have to request that. Our Joint Operations Center would have to request it up the chain of command to PACOM, get the approval. And they're, they're standing by, they've linked up with us. Um, those Chinooks can carry up to 30, 30 people at a time. So it would, it would just depend on where, what happens, where it happens, what time it happens, and then the type of risk to the aviation operation, whether it's ash, whether it's inclement weather. If, if the clouds come in like they did the last two days, they might not be able to fly at all. 